All right, this is a quick lesson on uh, chapter 5, lessons 6 and 7 on adding and subtracting linear expressions. Uh, so I wanted to define linear expressions. Linear expressions are algebraic expressions where the variable is raised to the first power only and variables are not multiplied or divided. So I gave you some examples and some non-examples. Examples like 7x. Notice the variable is to the first power and understood 1 right there, to the first power. Here I have a first power. Here I have a first power. Here I have multiplied variables, which means it's no longer a linear expression. Here I have an x raised to a second power, something other than the first power, so not a linear expression. And once again, p to the third power, no longer a linear expression. All right, so if I want to add and subtract linear expressions, first of all, I wrote this down and I messed up, sorry. Uh, the three steps that you're going to hear me talking about all the way throughout algebraic uh, expressions and equations, leave change opposite to get rid of all subtraction. We do that for a couple of reasons. One, I find that negatives in front of a parentheses tend to not get distributed unless we assign them to a number, uh, assign that negative to a number. Distributed property, break things out of jail. Um, is what I call that. So things that are caught inside of a parenthesis or a grouping symbol um, can get together with things on the outside as well. And then combine like terms. Get your same like things, same type of things together. X's with X's, G squareds with G squareds, um, and constants with constants. All right, so let's take a look at this. This has got to practice off page 398, by the way. Number one says quantity 2X plus 3 plus the quantity X plus 1. And one way to do this is to draw out um, a model. So I drew an X because I don't really know what they are. And so I have two X's and I have three ones. And I have an X and a one. I want to add them together. So I would have one, two, three X's. And I would have one, two, three, four, one. So when I add those together, I'm going to get three X plus four. Okay? <clears throat> That's one way to look at it is with a model. Another way to do it is by following these three steps. So let me do that this time. Leave change opposite. Leave change opposite. Distributive property. 10 times x is 10x. 10 times negative 2 is negative 20. Put your plus sign back in between. Plus, I have an understood 1 right there. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute it because that really just breaks them out of jail. So I would end up with plus 6x's plus negative 6, and then combine like terms. Now that it's all addition, that's one reason we do it, so we can use the commutative properties. One reason we do that, leave change opposite. I'm going to get my like terms together. I have these two constant terms. Both of them are negative, so add and use that same sign. I'd get negative 26. And I have 6x and 10x. Those are like terms as well. Add them together, you get 16x. So you get 16x plus negative 26, or it's sometimes you might see this written also, we could change this back. Leave, change, opposite, again. 16x minus 26 is the same thing as 16x plus negative 26. Um, number three, combine like terms. They want the perimeter of this pentagon. So you can simply add them because they're like terms. 3x and 3x is 6x. There'd be 8x. There'd be 10x. I have one more x, which would be 11x's. And I have a 4 that doesn't match, so I have to leave it separate. 11x plus 4. And then it says, um, find the perimeter if the value of x is 3. So if the value of x is 3, 3 times 11 is 33, plus 4 is 37 yards, 37 yards around as a perimeter. All right, so it's very similar when we go to subtract. That's on page 406 to subtract linear expressions. First one, 2x plus 4 minus the opposite of x plus 5. Quantity 2x plus 4 minus the quantity, the opposite of x plus 5. So here's probably the biggest mistake here is when I talked about people not getting that negative distributed. Remember, this entire quantity is being subtracted from this quantity. So some people will just subtract the first one, but not all of them. So you have several di different ways of doing that. You can put it uh, vertically, minus the opposite of x plus 5. But I like to do then leave change opposite, so leave, change it to addition, and then change the opposite of everything. That'd be a positive x and a negative 5, right? So now I have a 2x plus x, which is 3x, and I have a 4 plus a negative 5, which is a negative 1. I could write it like that, 
or of course plus a negative one. Either one of those would be a would be an acceptable way to write that three x minus one or three x plus negative one. All right. Oh, I guess I did that's the way I did this one. So let me do this one the other way. Six uh, x plus nine quantity six x plus nine minus the quantity seven x minus one. And I will do this now with the distribute property with my three steps, leave, change, opposite, distribute property, combine like terms. So leave, change, opposite, that negative has to stay out, and there's an understood one of those things, because anything times one is itself. All right, there's also a one of these things, so one times six x is six x, one times nine is nine, they're now outside of jail, plus, oh, I should have another leave, change, opposite there, negative seven x, and positive one. Now get your like terms together. I have these negative seven x's and these six x's. Add different signs, so I'm gonna to have to subtract, use the sign of the larger. So I end up with a negative x or a negative one x. And a nine and a one becomes 10. And I've got them as negative x or the opposite of x plus 10. Uh, number three says the number of runs scored by the home team at a baseball game is represented by the quantity x plus 7. The number of runs scored by the visiting team is represented by the quantity 3x minus 7. Write an expression to find how many more runs the home team scored than the visiting team. So I need to be doing home minus visiting. Home minus visiting to find the difference. Alright, so let me do that. Leave, change, opposite. So now that means everything goes to the opposite. And now I can subtract those by adding the opposite. So 7 and negative 7, no, 7 and 7, excuse me, 14. Forgot that's. And then x and negative 3x would be negative 2x, put the plus sign back in between. And so I could get that by negative 2x plus 14. It says then evaluate the expression if the value of x is 6. So if the value of x is 6, well, negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. Negative 12 plus 14 is positive two. So your two runs would be the correct answer then. All right, so what we talked about once again, adding or subtracting linear expressions. Personally, these are the three steps I follow. Leave, change, opposite, distributed property, combine like terms. Get it to be all addition instead of subtraction. Bust things out of jail. Move things around since it should be commutative property at that point to get all your matching things together. Get your pennies with your pennies and your nickels with your nickels.